Here's uh, part of the show that I really enjoy the very most. And of all the things that Porter's written, this happens to be my favorite. Listen very closely as he does Brother Harold E. To a man and wife, three sons were born on the same day, a bright Sunday morn. Three boys with exactly the same chance in life. Their daddy was a wealthy man. They'd know no hunger or strife. Their names were Carol, Gerald, and Harold E. The years passed quickly, it seemed, for the three. Carol studied law with a bachelor's degree. And he'd read law books till way in the night. To be the world's greatest lawyer was his goal in life. Gerald studied numbers. He is like a machine, adding, subtracting, multiplying. Accounting was his dream. But the books were untouched by the last of the three. Just God's holy Bible would interest Harold E. But he'd read it and recite it in the study for days without eating or sleeping, learning of God's ways. While the rest of the family would go to town, but Harold E. would stay home, and through the woods and the fields, he'd walk around. While they couldn't even get him to the barber shop, several months passed, and his folks told him this foolishness must stop, that his hair was a disgrace, not to mention the beard that grew long on his face. And his reputation was hurting the family name, the weird boy with the beard and the sandals and the bangs. At last, he was told he must leave home. Unlike Carol and Gerald, he had no business of his own. Six years passed. No one knew where he went. Then the county was told a revival was coming in the world's biggest tent. Why, it seemed the whole county was there opening night. Not one empty seat. When the missionary walked to the pulpit, the crowd rose to their feet. They stared in shock and disbelief. Whispers went through the crowd. Why, that looks like Harold E. The missionary held a closed Bible in his hands and spoke in a voice soft and kind. And he recited the book of Genesis, Matthew, Mark, Luke and John, and revelations line at a time. It lasted for hours, but not one left their seat. God's power had been given and delivered by Brother Harold E. In the fourth row from the front sat his mother and dad, his two brothers and their wives. He looked at them and smiled and said, God bless you for coming tonight. Let us pray. God, thank you for the great books that give knowledge to men of science, fiction, figures, and laws of the land. But most of all, thank you for the book of life eternally, your holy Bible that you taught every word to Harold E. Amen.